music production. So that's it production. Should be done roughly like in a month from now. This one, I told you, Japan is taking these. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They saw it, they're like, yeah, we want it. Six. I'm surprised I fucking woke up to be yeah, super. This is my alarm for six thirty, so I should have slept in. I called and I saw it was eight. It was eight thirty. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> now I was about to go to sleep, but I was like, nah. If I go back to sleep, I'm not gonna wake up, bro. Thank you. 
right, what's going on, guys? We just take a cookie break. Today is like St. Patrick's. So the lobby was giving out these cookies. And when I was getting it, the guy's like, oh, you, you came out, you're dressing up for St. Patrick's. I was like, man, why you gotta do me like that, bro? Like, I've been wearing this beanie for the past month or so, and today's the day that you try to comment on that. Come on, fam. Okay. It's a little sweet, but not bad. All right, so welcome to the pickups portion of today's video. Essentially, just gonna show you guys everything I picked up during my trip in Japan. There's certain things that I'm leaving out, such as ceramics and bowls and things along that side. And I'm gonna just focus on clothing and footwear for today's video. I'm like still trying to find the perfect balance between the type of videos that I'm doing now, still tweaking the format. So if it's a little disjointed here and there, don't mind me too much. Nonetheless, hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so for item number one, I picked up this Swatch watch, that rhymes, and uh, this was purchased at the Woma store. I'm not sure if there's any collab or anything around this watch. I just really like the way it looks. It has this nice, clear overall body, and I really enjoy seeing all the gears and everything turning on the inside. So it's such a really neat watch. Lately, I've been into watches. I'm not really looking to have a really expensive collection. I like very kooky and you know very intricate or unique looking watches and this is one that really piqued my interest out there so decided to pick it and it is a Swatch MoMA collab if I'm not mistaken. Um, so here we go for the first item. And then right here we have a NASCAR jacket. So I'm not quite familiar when it comes to these racing jackets. But what really caught my eye was just all these various patches, embroidery, and just how loud the jacket was in general. I'm assuming that the main sponsor for this specific item was Amp Energy, as it's like the biggest embroidery out of all the other ones. Has a really boxy and oversized fit as well as the colorway with that green and white color scheme. So overall, I'm very excited, very happy about this purchase. I don't really think that I'll be indulging myself in any more of these NASCAR type of jackets, but nonetheless, really enjoy this one. Continuing on to our second item right here, we have a Sukajan, AKA souvenir jacket from the brand The Real McCoys. I think I mentioned it quite a few times on the channel, but I'm an avid collector of souvenir jackets. This is something that I love to display at the office, but unfortunately, a lot of them aren't really wearable just because the material is so delicate and just how old everything is. So the brand, The Real McCoys, pretty much makes a one-to-one -one carbon copy of your vintage Sukajan jackets, utilizing the exact same materials they used back in the day such as rayon and acetate, as well as the techniques of embroidery and all other details. So this one is purchased from Beams, and I really enjoy the Hawaiian vacation theme going on on this entire unit. And last but not least, I'm just really digging the fit, materials once again, and just the overall execution. So for the next two t-shirts, I simply got them during my stay in Osaka. For the first t-shirt, I don't know too much about it, the only thing that I really dig is the fact that the image kind of looks like if Inspector Gadget and Marvin the Martian had a baby. I don't know, the image was just really cool to me, so I decided to pick it up. It also features a really nice wash as well as single stitch details. Continuing on to our second shirt, this is something that once again piques my interest. I'm just a big fan of like UFO sightings, just like X-Files and a lot of the merch surrounding aliens, I guess. So this one is looks to be a spread taken off from a newspaper in the 1950s when there was like the alien paranoia and it's just like printed on the shirt. That's pretty much all I got to say about this shirt. Really cool design, love aliens. Let's keep it moving. All right, so for the next item, this is from my good friend Daiki, and his brand is called Future Kives, and the name of this item is simply called the Jacket 001. So quickly talking about details, the entire outer shell is made out of moleskin, and the interior features cupro. So firstly, what I can say about this jacket is the fact that I really love the way it fits. It has like a nice boxy yet cropped fit to it, and I finally appreciate that he took the 
concept of a word check and then elevated it to something a little bit more high-end you know implementing a lot of interesting line work as well as hidden pockets so carrying on to the next set of items these will all be from the brand simply complicated so this item right here is called the cgn bomber jacket and first i just want to take the time to admire this intricate wash that it has. From what I can tell, it almost looks like a mineral slash bio wash has been applied to the item, which creates this very intricate pattern alongside the entire garment. Another detail that I appreciate is the fact that he decided to use a very light green piping, which creates such an interesting contrast between that and the kind of washed out gray. So overall, beautiful piece. Love the way it fits. The open neck concept is very interesting, reminding me of a cardigan. So overall, just a very interesting project. I love the twist he did on the classic bomber jacket. And let's talk about the next items. So carrying on to our second item from Simply Complicated, this is called the See All Fleece Jacket. So this is directly inspired by your favorite Patagonia deep pile jackets. But the upside of this version is the fact that Hated is able to add all these little extra details that wouldn't be possible on Patagonia Deep Piles. Similar to the bomber jacket, this fleece does also feature the contrasting colors alongside the entire garments, which just creates once again a very interesting color combo. So one thing that I really, 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 really love about Simply Complicated is the fact that they're able to cater to two different audiences. So there is the more streetwear side of the brand as well as the more menswear. So the next two items we will be talking about are actually going to be from the more formal side of Simply Complicated. So for the item that we have at hand, this is called the Fringe Stripe Pullover Shirt and I decided to combo it with the 247 work jacket. So I really love how the pieces are all interchangeable, they complement each other, and the fact that you're able to wear this a little bit more casually is definitely something that I try to do as of late. So once again, just big thank you to Tommy and the whole Simply Complicated team for providing all these beautiful garments. Check them out on their Instagram and their website for further drops. So jumping on to our next item, right here we have the Kana Knit hoodie from Stussy. So I initially went to Stussy to look for the Tokyo hoodies, but unfortunately Stussy doesn't have stock for virtually anything in stores, so I decided to pick up this piece instead. So I'm a sucker for just plain black hoodies. I have way too many in my closet as of late. So I'm always on the lookout for something a little bit more different. And this one, because of the knitted material, fills in that black hoodie void. Continuing on with bottoms, let's talk about the two Levi's denims that I picked up. Starting with the 501s, I'm really adoring this wash on it. And the main reason why I decided to pick up this specific pair is the fact that the back has a very interesting distressing detail. It's like entirely elevated and ripped in the back. So when you wear boots, it creates this almost cascading like effect. And I find it so unique and I really just love the way it looks. For the second pair, I went a little bit more simplistic. Once again, as the previous pair, I just really love the wash. However, this one is a 505, so you can kind of see the differences in fit. The 505s are still very slim and straight. However, they are a little bit more relaxed than the 501s. So for footwear, let's begin with a pair of Visvums. I did showcase these off in the past video, but I wanted to talk a little bit more about them. And the exact name is called the Poundmaker Folk, and this is in the brown and black colorway. At this given moment, Visum is still my favorite brand of all time. And just buying this in Japan, where, you know, obviously where Visum is originally from, was a little bit more of an emotional moment for me, just because every single item that I personally own from Visum has been purchased secondhand. So I was like never the first owner of anything Visum. But it was such a big moment for me to finally go in store, try on a shoe and purchase it and kind of be the first owner of this garment. But besides that story, let's just talk about these boots. They're so, 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 so beautiful. And firstly, just going into details, the entire upper is made from the Horween vegetable tan leather. It has the leather lining, cork insole, leather midsole, dynite outsole, all to say exceptional craftsmanship and materials. Continuing on to our second Vism boots, 
These are called the Brigader suede boots in the black colorway. And details include the entire upper being from suede material, insole, and Vibram outsoles. So the main reason why I decided to go for this shoe as well is the fact that I've been kind of looking at Brigader shoes from Vism for a while, but I really love the way that they decided to implement this kind of beige Vibram outsole, which creates a really nice contrast between the upper and the sole of the shoe. All right, guys, that is all that I picked up from Japan. I am tired of talking. It's been a while and um, nonetheless, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't go anywhere as we have a kind of special final segment at the end of the video, showcasing off two pieces from brands that my friends have made. And I know that it has nothing to do with Japan, but I just felt like I wanted to put it in. So enjoy this final moment. This is going to be the Daniel Simmons and Atelier Gallery Showcase.